Alright, welcome to a new LP. <coughs> I figured I'd knock this one out. As you can see, it's Mega Man Legends. It's the first uh, Mega Man game in 3D. And it's one of my few favorites, so let's get started. Here we go! Mega Man? Mega Man? Mega Man? Can you hear me? Just fear me. The transmission isn't too clear. I got worried because the transmission got cut off suddenly. I'm okay. I think this is the last door. Alright, now, <clears throat> this is going to be a relatively short LP. I'm pretty quick at this game. I also like filling out the map, so. Um, the base. Wait a second. <laughs> there should be a Reverbot around there somewhere. Can you see it? It looks like a small one. You should be able to take it down with your buster gun. Alright. Okay. So, squares to shoot. Anyway, um, as I was saying, the basic basis of this game is <clears throat> a lot different from the Mega Man series. Basically, the entire planet is covered in water. Hold on, just gonna talk again. Right no. Um, the basics of it is the world's covered in water. And to solve world energy issues, people go out to these ancient ruins and get the power source that fuse the place, which are those giant crystals you saw. Can you see a door nearby? <laughs> yeah, it's right there. And Mega Man's one of these diggers. That's what they're called. Where are you going, Mega Man? That's not the right way. I don't like the way that looks. Maybe you'd better head back. Very good point. I'm not going to. Now, I like this game because it was the very first Mega Man game I ever bought. <laughs> and it's one of those things that's just, you know, been... You know, it's just kind of a fun game. It's kind of kidsy, but it's still fun. Mega Man, are you alright? <clears throat> This game is also known as Mega Man 64. I'm not really sure what station it's on. I think it's for the Nintendo 64, <laughs> obviously. But that one, that version is really glitched. Like some of these crystals won't appear. Um, dialogue would just end randomly. Things would just disappear. It's weird. That should be the way out. It's not far from your current position. Hmm. So I'm gonna open doors. Watch out, there's something right in front of you. There is a sequel to this game, but unfortunately I don't own it anymore. I had to sell it for um money so I can get around for uh school. So I'm going to try and get a hold of it again in the future so I can make this a um 
LP set. <coughs> now, like I said, this game, this LP is probably going to be really short. I can get through this game in just a few hours. Huh? A platform? Try jumping up on it. Grab the ledge if you have to. Alright. Um, I will be right back. Sorry, guys. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. <coughs> Alright, where were we? Oh, yeah. Um, like I said, as I was saying before I got interrupted, um, this will probably be a pretty quick LP. I'm pretty <laughs> quick at this game. If anything, maybe three, five hours. Hold it! Don't move! Looks like it didn't see you. It looked like a reaver bot. We were lucky. <laughs> I'll try and get all the, um, secrets in this game. Like I said er earlier, I'm pretty quick at it, so I can get them pretty quickly. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Quantum refractors are large crystals that provide energy to machines. They can, they can also be used as currency. If you're really lucky, you'll find an orange energy cube, grab it to recharge your life. No. So these are miniature refractor shards. And we use them as money in this game, and it's called Zenny. What is it, Mega Man? I'm picking up strong energy readings. Is it some kind of barrier? <sighs> is there a switch for the barrier anywhere close by? Don't give up. It's gotta be around somewhere. <clears throat> Alright. So now we gotta look for a switch. Mega Man, I'm picking up a reaver bot. God, she's like Navi. It's above you, watch out. R2 to track enemies and above and below that are of your field of sight. No. R2 is also uh <laughs> first person sort of first person. More like third person view. I can um look around while in this view. Like, yeah. Sorry, it's my um weird little OCD. <laughs> Be careful about kicking these things over or shooting them. If you get too close, that little explosion can hurt you. Treasure chests. Oh, right. Is that me? Excuse me. It's a power razor. The power razor is a Mega Man Buster part. Attaches, uh, attaching Buster parts allows you to power up your Buster gun. You can attach Buster parts by pressing the start men the start button to go to the main the menu screen and selecting Equip from the Buster parts menu. No. All right. Now, what I like interesting about this, what I find interesting about this game is that's now that's currently pink, light purple. But when you equip this and it's small it's not the same thing but a little bigger so the parts you get actually affect the size of your attack <laughs> now one of the main oh wait cutscene Mega Man I'm showing a large blip in front of you it's probably a reaver bot be careful huh Mega Man can you hear me I'm Transmission breaking. Whoa, are you all right? Can you hear me? I'll finish my thought after this little cutscene. <clears throat> oh, it's not cutscene. Anyway, um, one of the main reasons why I'm doing this game <clears throat> is because it's such a classic. I mean, everyone loves Mega Man, or at least every you know real gamer does, in my opinion. And I really like this game. It's really old. It's really <laughs> kind of fun. You know, the graphics might be dated, but, you know. Graphics don't make the game. They help, but they don't make it. That's back when this first came out. This was really high-quality graphics.
<laughs> anyway, this is made by uh, Capcom. And if you can find a copy of it, I don't think they print it anymore. But if you find a copy of it like on Amazon or eBay, I really recommend getting it. It's a really fun game. <coughs> There's some weird things here and there, but eh. Oh no, it's a pretty fun game. Glad to have to say it after being underground for so long. Hmm. I wonder where Roar went. Back for more? I think I just fell. Nice timing roll. Anytime, Mega Man. I'm sorry, Mega Man. I had some engine problems, and... It's okay, Roll. But I'm glad you showed up when you did. <laughs> All's well that ends well, right? And we were able to get a refractor. We should be able to get by with that for a while. If only the mother load were as easy to find as this. Don't worry. We'll find it someday. And your parents, too. Thanks. I know we will. Oh, the engine's overheating. The smoke's so thick I can barely see. What? I guess the flutter's in worse shape than I thought. Oh, the number five meters is going crazy. She can't take much more of this. Ramps, can you open up the number 11 valve again? Got it. We'd better find some place to sit down. Mega Man, check the map. There's an island called Cadillac about a hundred miles southwest. Good! Jack! <laughs> Yeah, this is a personal favorite of mine, so... I don't want any hate mail about how, su how it's such an old game where it's not really good, so... Please don't do that. This looks pretty bad. I don't think it'll be safe to set foot in here for quite a while. We've been pushing her so hard. Haven't been taking good enough care of her. We'll just have to fix her up. 